Mind the Gap. Hey guys, so um, welcome to my first uh, video on Assassin's Creed, uh, the, figure, the official figurine collection. Um, now, as I've stated on another video, um, I know nothing about Assassin's Creed, and I bought this. I'm, all, all I really know is it's a very popular computer game. Um, two reasons I bought this was one, the quality of the figures looked very good. Um, and also I thought it would give me a chance to learn about the world of Assassin's Creed. Um, and I'm hoping that you will uh, join me on this journey. Um, obviously if you're a big Assassin's Creed fan, um, I welcome any comments um, on learning more about this. Um, and if you're new to Assassin's Creed and are just here just to see what it's all about, um, hopefully you can learn something with me too. Um, so it's going to be a little bit boring for the first five minutes or so. Um, I'm going to just show off the, 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 the binder. Um, because I subscribed, I get various free gifts, which I'll go through later on. Um, and this is the first free gift, which is... All right, it's just a binder, um, but it's actually a very nice binder. Um, so I'll call that shown. And this is issue one. Um, nicely, uh, um, nicely packaged. Uh, it came in a big, very big box for what it was, what was needed. So I'm just going to carefully just un pick this off, and uh, I'll deal with the magazine first. Um, no, I'll tell you what, I'll deal with the figure first, um, and then I'll go through, oh there we go, look, actually I'm going to deal with this first, we get a collector's guide first, let me just move my camera a bit, just so we can get more in, so, Relive the award winning game series with an amazing collection of scale models, so I'm looking at some of these and straight away, I quite like these hooded guys, um, yeah they're nice. Um, the Assassin's Creed video games from Ubisoft are amongst the most respected and best loved of all times. The charismatic heroes represent the spirit of adventure with real history as their playground. The exciting worlds they inhabit span the centuries from the time of the Crusades to present day. Uh, so yeah that looks quite nice. Um, quite tempting actually I might go and buy some of the games. Um, so they're all 1 to 21 scale, so, well, it's going to be that big, isn't it? Because I've got the figure next to me, so it's that big. Um, right, so your figure in the Assassin's Creed, the official collection, features all the key characters of the award-winning video games, spanning the complete saga of games. All the significant characters are represented, complete with their clothing and weapons. So we have uh, issue 1. Altair Ibn Nilad, I don't even know how to pronounce that. Um, and I quite like the look of issue two. Um, quite nice dynamic pose there. In fact, actually, I'm looking for forward to uh, issue four too. He looks quite nice. Um, so they're all hand painted. Each figure is hand painted to feature incredible details from the game characters. Uh, all the characters' outfits and weaponry are faithfully reproduced. Outstanding precision casting, based on a wealth of artwork supplied by Ubisoft, the sculptors will first produce a wax model. In collaboration with Ubisoft, this model will be refined through several stages to capture accurately every detail and angle from the original character. Uh, artists will then paint each cart figurine with the utmost precision. I'll put that to the test, you know full well I'm going to. Right, so each magazine is going to figure, obviously, your figurine. Take a closer look at your figurine and focus on a fine detail of clothing and weaponry. A profile of the character, that's, I'm looking forward to that one. Uh, features their strengths and weaknesses, skills and connections. All illustrate with artwork from the game. Friends and enemies, from allies to foes, discover all the characters and their significant relationships. Weaponry and equipment. Uh, assassin's abilities uh, the law now the law I'm interested in um, obviously it's nice to have a background um, and you never know I may be able to adapt this 
um, and use it to create characters for, for various games that I play and the environments from the Holy Land during the Crusades to London and Industrial Revolution explore the rich tapestry of historical characters and the locations of the game now I've not opened the magazine or the figurine yet but to be honest with you I'm, I'm rather interested um, I'm, I'm liking this so I've got one free issue because I subscribe I've got the binder which you've seen the wallet I'm not going to show um, I've got to be honest with you I'm, I'm debating whether to give that away as a subscriber giveaway um, it's absolutely beautiful um, it really is um, you get a free display stand and you get a tan card uh, I should get the tan card because I did subscribe online I believe so let's have a look at the figure first um, and then that way if you're not interested I'll do the magazine next and I'll go quite in depth with the magazine and then that way if you're not really interested in the mag you've 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 seen what you've come to see so the first thing well one of the first things I'm noticing is there's a number uh, try and get that into focus so AA38961 does that mean that there's so many made and that's the number um, I don't know the base it feels like it's made of um, like plastery um, must be resin the base is is textured which obviously means that um, it, it, it's 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 interesting it can be left plain but it can be interesting um, this can obviously be changed and then this is the actual figure in question and I've got to be honest with you I'm rather disappointed um, the white now I appreciate that white is a difficult color I can see I don't know if I can it looks quite uneven down there it's not a clean cut um, there's lots of luck there's overpainting you see there the red come on focus sorry I found sometimes the best one there we go we can see that there's a there's a piece coming down the middle that's obviously red but it's not gone all the way down to the edge um, there's lots of over overpainting you've got white there on the on the he's got a blade coming off his arm and there's white um, yeah I mean this if you look he's got grey trousers but he's also got a piece of grey on, on the cloak so let me just pop grab that I forget how much it is now is this eight nine pounds um, I cannot remember um, cannot remember the price per issue I think it's about eight or nine pounds I may be wrong um, I'll update some uh, later on um, however if you've watched my Marvel Comics um, unveiling unboxing you'll see that I'm not too bothered about the price the reason for that is let me find there we go right so if it's nine if it's nine even if it looks oh, I can't remember I, I, I really I do apologize I cannot remember the price per issue let me see if I can find the invoice uh, right okay so I've got one free gift the invoice total has come at 998 So that sounds like it's two is issues, and normally the first issue would be one ninety nine. So do you know what my maths head has gone today? Um, yeah, I think this is eight pounds an issue, seven ninety nine. I will correct in later issues. Um, oh, that's good. That's actually embossed. So that means I can actually do a lot with this base. I can do whatever I like with it. I might do it a, a, a grey. And then I can go back in with the lettering. Right, so let's call this £8. What can you get for £8? Well, 
This is a figure from Star Wars Imperial Assault. Uh, and this is uh, Darth Maul. And obviously it's an unopened box. But they're all to scale. Now this is uh, C-3PO from the same series. Now let me show you the price of this. That's reduced to £9. Um, this is Obi-Wan Kenobi. £8.50. So you see they're all coming out around about the same price as the... Um, um, yeah, they're all coming out around about the same price as the Assassin's Creed. Um, obviously the fun with these is they're, they're, they're painted. Um, so... Let me find a... Right, this is a Stormtrooper. As you see, he's about the same size as a C-3PO. And now let's compare C-3PO to an Assassin's Creed. So, if you're buying it as a figure, it's very good value for money. I mean, look, £9, £8. So in that sense, I'm happy. It gives me something to paint. Um, so obviously what I'll do, and I've already got the colours, it tells me which colours I need because the colours are already on there. So what I'll do is, that, for example, this bit, I'll find a brown and I'll match that brown. Um, I'll go over this with the white. Um, so I'm happy in that, I'm, I'm, I'm not happy with the quality. If I was buying this as a figurine to just pop on a shelf, I would probably cancel my subscription. Um, but because I am a, a painter, these are going to be projects I can do later on. Right, I am going to pop that back in the box to protect it. And then that can go into my... Um... Sorry, bear with me a sec. That's gone in there too well. Oh, I see. Right. So that's going to go back into my to-do pile and I will get on with that another time. I'll probably start painting these. Well, I've got lots of projects to do, so I will probably paint these in a month or so. Um, unfortunately, I am the kind of painter that has lots of unstarted projects. So that's going in my... Um, my project box. So let's have it right. So if you're here just for the magazine, so if you're here just for the figurine, that's my uh, figurine um, review um, done. So now we'll turn on to the magazine. And we I've got a feeling we're going to get this every single issue. This is just a little card to give to my news agents, which I'm not going to because I've already got the subscription. Um, so right, so a little quick what's coming on um, and what happens if you what you get if you subscribe. Um, oh, it's six issue two is six ninety nine. Lovely. So um, I'll keep you updated on the prices. There we go. Right. Receive so issue two at the special price of six ninety nine plus free issue three one. Right. I'll receive two issues. There we go. Nine ninety nine an issue. So it's ten pounds. So if you're buying this as a figure to to paint, it's it's a very good price. So I would be happy. I didn't do the uh, the extra pound an issue because the, for me they're just it, they're just prints. Um, maybe someone can tell me why I should have done it. I don't know. So let's have a look at the magazine. And I'm not even going to try and pronounce his name. Out well. Out, there you go. So let's have a look. So this is the figurine. Um, I guess that's when he was around. Was it 1165 to 1257? Uh, the most devoted student of the Brotherhood would eventually guide the assassins to greater strength and spiritual understanding, even long after his death. But this guy had much to learn and did so the hard way. As a young master assassin, he took charge of a, of a critical mission uh, to retrieve a priceless treasure. During the mission, his pride got the better of him, leading to recklessness resulting in both the failure of the operation and tragic loss of a fellow assassin's life. I'm not going to read all of it. but Right, so we've got the assassin's robes, originally worn by the Levantine assassins. He adopted these garments as his own. 
The distinctive eagle peat hood dramatically casts the silhouette of this bird of prey. Okay, so yeah, obviously we've got the peak at the top. Uh, eagle vision. There is certainly more to him than meets the eye. His unique heritage bestows a mystical power that enhances his intuition and combat skill. Uh, he's got a hidden blade. It's the mark of true assassin dating back to the 5th century BCE. Um, so that's something I'm going to have to find out. What's BCE? Altair was not the first to master its use, but he is arguably the man that made it the most feared. And then he has the sword of his, well, his sword. The design of his signature sword hints at a lethal potential with its winged cross guard and eagle's head pommel. The sword of Altair has become a valuable treasure since his passing. So straight away, I'm going to just close it up on this. Um, we're getting lots and lots of reference shots here. So when I come to paint this, this magazine is going to become invaluable. So this bit is about his journeys and challenges. It's thought that the Assassin Brotherhood dates back to the dawn of humanity. Although our dealings with the Hashashin... Did I say that right? That sounded like Sean Connery. Hashashin. Um, start with the youngest ever master assassin, Alter Ibn La... Uh, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. So, hide in plain sight. Alter free runs across the city rooftops and climbs the highest peaks in order to gain ground on his targets. At street level, his hood allows him to assume the praying posture of Christian monks, and he joins their throng with his head bowed to blend with the crowd. Okay, that's a nice little piece of artwork there. Focus! Focus, focus! Okay, that's not going to happen, but you can get the gist of it. So again, more more shots, that uh, more reference shots. I'm liking that little detail on his, on his sword sheath. Um, his unique generics have granted him the gift of an ex extrasensory ability um, that is used to perceive the intentions of others and identify threats. The origin of this ability is believed to be the result of crossbreeding between humans and ancient beings known as those who came before. Um, and I'm assuming that's a screenshot from the actual game. So I wonder if this will tell me where I can find this character and which game I would need to buy. Um, I own a PlayStation 4 uh, and they don't, um, what's the word I'm looking for? You can't play PlayStation 3 games on PlayStation 4. So it may well be that I can't um, can't get a hold of anything. Or So there's, uh, keep your friends close but your enemies closer. So you've got... The mentor of the Assassin Brotherhood in the Levant bespokes his, his dedication to the pursuit of peace by any means necessary. In practice, this amounts to executing everyone who stands in the way of achieving his goal. And that, as Altair quickly discovers, makes for a long list of candidates indeed. Is that not hypocritical? Um, if you have to execute someone for peace, is that not unpeaceful right so we've got Tamir illicit weapons dealer Tamir sells his wares to both sides of the conflict between the Saracens and the Crusaders and profits regardless um, sounds like any typical business um, really I've I heard that there's companies that were selling to both sides during World War One uh, Blue Circle I think was one um, they made cement um, Gardener de Naplos, the second target takes Altair to Acre, uh, where the Doctor Garnier de Naples was not quite practicing his vocational duties to the letter. Um, he, I'm trying to read this off the screen rather than from the magazine. It keeps going out of focus. I'll go on to the next one. So we've got a nice little list there of um, of uh, the characters. I, I'm guessing these are all enemies, are they? Um, now these, some of these must be friends because it says friends and enemies. 
Um, I suppose it's also just acquaintances, is it? People that he, he comes into contact. Right, so Leap of Faith is an important in initiation rite and the fastest way to vacate tall buildings. This grace, graceful death-defying swallow dive is the most iconic image uh, of the earliest assassins. So basically, if he needs to get away, he's just going to jump off the building, is he? Um, right, the Assassin's Brotherhood. Stay your blade from the flesh of the innocent. Hide in plain sight and never compromise the Brotherhood. Um, and then you've got the Codex. Inspired by his studies of an ancient artifact, the Apple of Eden. Okay, that's interesting. So this is obviously very crusade related. Right, weaponry and equipment. So we have the hidden blade. That's, is that, I'd like to know, is that a shot from the game? Or is that, that almost looks like a photo. That's really good. Um, so more shots. I mean, I'm, I, I'm obviously, I'm looking at these as reference shots for painting. And then we've got the environments. Um, and then we've got what's coming in issue two. Do you want to know about issue two? Um, so there you go, guys. There's issue one. Um, my overall review would be a, what should we give it? A seven, seven and a half. Um, I'm liking it. Um, it's given me a guide on how to paint but it loses marks because you have to paint it um being a painter i'm i've said this with um, marvel comics uh, marvel part works um being obviously it's a mass produced um product which they need to sell so many thousand um if you were to sell these if you were to get these painted to the, the standard that i would like them painted at they'd be about 50 quid an issue um you just wouldn't be able to do it so however i feel that as an absolute basic painting level they've just not got it right um which in actual fact i can turn that to an advantage um so yeah if I'm going to continue with this. Um, in fact, I'm going to find my binder, and I'm going to I'm going to pop this one in. I do like the way that they've popped these little metal bits in, rather than punched holes in them. Um, so this is going to take pride of place in uh, in the binder as the very first one. Do you know what these? Having said that, look, they haven't even got that right. Oh dear. So, oh, that's not too bad. It's just come up a little bit. There we go. There we go. So, yeah, just need to give that little bit of a fiddle. So that's going in. So there's issue one. And in two weeks' time, I will be reviewing and looking at issue two. Uh, thank you for watching, guys. And uh, if you want to leave any comments um dislikes likes um all i really ask for is <coughs> is be constructive if you don't like it by all means dislike the video um but a comment would be appreciated um telling me why and how i can improve okay thanks for watching guys appreciate that